My name is Shauna Pilichuk, and first of all, I'd like to thank Marie for encouraging me to speak today. Um, I've met many of you in various capacities, but today I'd like to talk to you as a family member and as a sister. My brother Patrick is here beside me, giving me strength, and I'm here beside him, giving him strength. What I want for New Redford to understand is this is what trust truly looks like. The Premier has asked us to trust her and her government, but we, in turn we ask them, what have you done to earn it? Your government and your lack of consultation has caused this confusion and the turmoil. You may blame, lay blame on others, but deep down you really know and truly know where the blame lies, but you just can't admit it or won't. You would think from the comments made by this government that Patrick would be an individual that should not see any changes in his support services, but we know that's not true. His life will change, but once again, 48 years later, we're going to have to fight for the right to decide how. The government says that they have a goal of inclusiveness for people with disabilities, yet the actions of this government are so far off from being inclusive. I wonder if they really understand the concept. And I know from today and from the other rallies that there's a lot of service providers out here today that could help them with that. to thank those of you that are here as allies for individuals and their families. And I want to thank you for informing us of the task that you were unfairly given to cut your budget and in turn your services that will impact people's lives. Your courage in standing up and shining a light is greatly appreciated by the individuals and their families. We value your professionalism and your commitment to advocacy in the sector. I have read the letter from Minister Hancock and Associate Minister Ogilvy, and I have read the release from AACL. So now I just want to ask you, do you feel you've been heard? No! Did you read any acknowledgement that they messed this up? No! Did you read an apology? No! Did you read solid commitment to stop the cuts? No! Are you one of the thousands of families that must have been consulted between Tuesday and Wednesday this week? No. And do you see that there is stability in funding, time to plan, Hello, my name is Sarah. and has the fear been lifted from your heart? And do you feel prepared? No. Well, we didn't, and we aren't. Listening is only one part of this issue. The other is action based on what you've heard. And so far, there's no evidence that this step has been taken. The evidence remains. You know, it, it's almost like we think that we gained some of this, and then the next morning, or that night, I really truly believe somebody's getting a phone call in the middle of the night from the Premier's office telling them they're straying from message and they need to get back on message because the next morning, what do we hear again? The province is still going forward with the changes to its program, but now it's just going to allow some service providers more time to prepare. The problem is those changes still include the cuts. It saddens me, it saddens me to think that in Alberta in 2013, others still believe that they should be in control of Patrick's life. It insults me to hear this Premier rationalize our outrage as fear and anxiety and that we can't handle change. Believe me, we are some of the most resilient people that you could ever meet. We welcome positive changes that would improve his life. But what we want and what Patrick has a right to is to be in the driver's seat that leads that change. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Shona.
Well, when the government decides to undertake a series of changes that are going to adversely affect families, individuals, and those who undertake their, those who comprise their support networks, and it's not an election year where you can respond accordingly in the ballot booth, you have to create your own consultation process. And we did it on the 15th, we did it last Friday, we did it today, and we've done it over the past two months where every single person here and everyone with us in spirit around the province has driven this to the very forefront of public debate and news in Alberta. As an organization that uh, represents workers that works towards career development and educational opportunities, we thank everyone here for their support over the past months. Uh, budget 2013 was a two-fold hit for us, both the potential loss of 1,500 to 2,000 jobs in the support field, the loss of educational opportunities at Mount Royal for future workers in this field. So we need all the support we can get, and we certainly thank you for coming out. Unfortunately, the government has responded to this as a communications issue, as something that can be sold through communication staff, through marketing, through political salesmanship. Well, the used car salesman can only sell so bad of a rusted out lemon. And the excellent communication staff over in the annex and in the legislature can only do so much with what they've been handled. Unfortunately, a delay, uh, un continued uncertainty may help a government communication strategy. It does nothing for anyone here. Continued uncertainty leaves our workforce wondering as they head into the summer months if they'll still have a job come September. It leaves everyone here wondering if their son, their daughter, their brother, or sister will still have their supports come September. It leaves every agency director wondering who they're going to have to lay off come fall. What families are going to have to sit down and say, we simply cannot provide supports for you, we've lost that funding. So what can we do? We can't stop here. We have to continue to keep this at the forefront of the debate. We have to continue to push the vision we all have for a sustainable PDD system. Uh, how do we do this? Well, we continue to meet here. We go to the public meetings we've been offered and we push a vision. We push a better system for PDD. We do not simply accept what has been handed down, what has been decided behind closed doors, with limited consultation with all PDD stakeholders. So again, I thank you for coming. I thank everyone around the province who uh, couldn't be here in person, but who's here on Twitter, who's here on Facebook, who's here in spirit. And I certainly hope that we'll see everyone here again next Friday. And, uh, about a week from now, we are still mired in uncertainty and uncertainty over decision making. Thank you.